Here we go guys, the buffet. Wow, they have pho here. Hi, and what's your name, Chef? Bread. Okay. Oh yeah, I can see it, I can see it. Man, can you guys believe it? 10 day went by just like that. Ooh, you guys gonna be mad though, but uh, to be honest, uh, we haven't used any of the uh, amenity that they provided here. There's actually a basketball goal here. There's actually a batting cage. They even have like a playground for the kids. And you know? we haven't used none of that stuff. It's because every morning when we wake up, uh, we go to the theme parks and then we come home, home late at night. And on top of that, uh, I even set aside two days so that we can uh, just stay at a resort and uh, just uh, use the amenity. But for those two days, uh, we ended up going to the natural spring and we went to the beach. We haven't even been outside to this patio to enjoy because uh, Mr. Geico lived out here and uh, the kids are afraid of Mr. Geico. So he's one of those big lizards. The net is broken right there, so uh, he can come and go in and out anytime he wants, so. Oh, look, look at the lizard. Don't touch it. Can we get it? No, 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 no. Okay, bye, I'll see you guys later. Come on. Uh, even though we didn't even use any of the amenity, I'm glad that we have it. So just in case uh, you know if we want to use it, it's available. Uh, so next time when I come back to Orlando, I will definitely be back here. Uh, you know, I really like this area. It's close to everything, and it's uh, pretty nice. You know, you have the whole spacious uh, uh, downstairs and upstairs to yourself, full kitchens. Uh, it's pretty nice for 10 days uh, with cleaning and fees and tax and everything. I think it was a little bit more than $2,000. What are you guys doing? You having fun? Yeah. Going up and down the stairs? Yeah, like this. Whee! And before we continue, I just want to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Have a specific skill you're trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. As you guys know, I'm constantly trying to improve my video for you guys. If you look at where we started six years ago to now, it's a big difference, but I know there's always room for improvement. I'm currently taking a class by Dan Dan on color grading for filmmaking, and I like it a lot. She breaks down her class into small sections and makes it so simple for you to learn. Hopefully by the time that I'm done, I can be a better filmmaker and make my video more cinematic for you guys. What I like about Skillshare is that it's ad free, so you can stay in the zone while you're exploring new skills. And they have new classes launched each week, so there's always something new to discover. Another cool thing is that the entire catalog is now available with subtitles in Spanish, French, Portuguese, and German. The first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity and learn new skills today. Once again, thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Good evening, how are you guys doing today? So uh, today was the last day in Orlando, so uh, we're on our way home to Houston, but on our way home, we had to make uh, one pit stop, and it has to be uh, Biloxi. So we are here in the uh, Beau Rivage. We've been here a couple years ago, um, when we were young, we were without kids, and uh, we've been here, we stayed here at this hotel, it was very nice, but the thing is that we didn't uh, eat at their uh, buffet. And I heard the buffet is pretty good too. And I look it up, it's like $25.99 per person. So we're gonna go and give that a try right now. And so yeah, uh, this wasn't a, this wasn't planned. So um, it's gonna be a little bit rushed. So anyways, if you guys are ready to uh, enjoy this uh, buffet, let's go. AKA Bomino. Yeah, looking at this reminds me of the uh, Bellagio's. Man, it is so pretty in here. 
This whole thing is made from real flour. Wow, this is like Vegas in the south. And here we go, guys. The buffet. Hi, sweetie. How are you? Good, you, ma'am? Okay? Yes, ma'am. I spoke to the manager already, and I just want to let you know that I'm going to be uh, making a YouTube video about this place, so... Okay, okay. Fine. Yeah, I just want to let you know. <laughs> Since today is Thursday, it's going to be uh, $25.99 for an adult. And uh, you have a child that's six year older, it's going to be $14.99. You have the option to leave tip at the front, or you can uh, leave tip afterwards. So our total come out to be $91.66. This video is going to feel a little bit rushed because they closed at 9, and already it's... Uh, it is 8.27. Uh, I have to wait for my wife and kid to come back with the food and then uh, I'll show you guys what they have real quick. What did you get there? I'll show you. Oh, okay. You hungry, Gong? Really? Really? You that hungry? It's good? All right, so let me show you guys what they have real quick. Here is the front of the buffet. Starting over here, we have the salad bar. You have your spinach, lettuce, and spring mix. So over here, we got the broccoli cheese soup. And over here, we got the classic chicken noodle soup. And here is all the fixing for your salads. And of course, you have your crouton right here, followed by all kinds of dressing. And over here, we got the sweet pea salad. And then we have the cucumber salad, and then we have the pasta salad, and then we have the sundan potato salad. Over here, I think this is where the seafood section starts. Jumbo shrimp, ready to eat. And then they'll boil with some um, bay leaf. So right here, you have your baked potato. And right next to that, that is where you can dress up your baked potato. You have the sour cream, chopped bacon, cheddar cheese, broccoli. Then you got some diced tomato, house-made hummus jalapenos and chopped green onions. All right, so after we leave this section right here, over here we have the uh, carving board and barbecue section. Right here we got the uh, grilled grouper fish with lemon cream. And then right next to that, we have the sauteed garlic green bean followed by some dirty rice. Look at this guys, fried chicken gizzard. And right next to that, we have the uh, steamed vegetable. And over here, we got some chicken liver. Wow, this is the first time I've seen any uh, buffet that serve chicken liver. Look at that, oh yeah. And then we got some dinner roll. And right next to that, we got some fried chicken. Followed by some Brussels sprout. And then we got the Italian cut green bean. And then the stewed lima bean. All right, so right here we got some grilled vegetable. Right here we got the smoked chicken and the tender barbecue pork rib. Look at this, guys, the carbon station. Man, that looks so good. And right next to that we got the our juice. And right here we got some onion ring. And right next to that, we got some slow cooked barbecue baked beans, mashed potato, brown gravy, and sweet potato casserole. And right here, we got some caramelized plantain. We got some corn. And then we got some fried pork chop. As we leave the carving station, here's the next stations over here. Look at that seafood gumbo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and right next to this, we got some Louisiana-style red bean. And look at this, crawfish estouffee. We got some fried shrimp, and then we got some mac and cheese. And over there, we got some fried catfish. Not just any regular fried catfish, this is sun style fried catfish. And if that wasn't enough, right here, you have the pasta section. Pick what you want, and then the chef will make that for you. And over here, we got the seafood eggplant casserole. And then we got some pasta and red sauce. We got the chef back here. What's your name, sir? Chef Wang. Chef Wang. <laughs> and over here, we got some fried green tomato with crayfish sauce. And right next to that, we got some smoked sausage and pepper followed by some classic meatball with marinara. So what I like about this buffet is that it's almost closing time and everything is still full. Look at this, all kinds of pizza. 
And then we got some honey barbecue chicken. And right here we got some sun and fried okra. And then we got some stuffed flounder. So over here we got some cabbage. And then right next to that we got some grilled pork chop. You guys see this? Pho your way. Wow, they have pho here. And the pho section smells good. Look at that. Pho your way. And then we got some uh, Mongolian chicken with pepper, barbecue pork. And of course we got some egg rolls. And over here we got some fried rice followed by some vegetable lo mein. I thought this buffet was going to be small but man it is huge. And for only $25.99 that's a steal. And let's see what they have over here. We got the whiskey rye syrup followed by some warm bread pudding. And then we got some chocolate brown meat followed by some chocolate sauce. And I guess this is all the topping for your ice cream. And then we got some assorted cake. And we got some cheesecake right there. All right, so we're done with that section right there. That's another whole section over here for dessert. Crazy. Man, look at all this dessert. We got some assorted pastry up here. Sugar-free chocolate cake. Look at this whole section for dessert. Nothing but cake. We got some southern fruit cobbler. And then we got some sweet cream brulee, followed by some rice pudding. And right here, we got some tar key lime pie, followed by the classic banana pudding. First thing I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna grab me some of this uh, pill and eat shrimp. Here's some cocktail sauce. I'm gonna get myself some of this chicken gizzard and some of this chicken liver. All right, for the steak, if you uh, don't like how it cooked, you can let the chef know and then he'll put in the grill for you. Thanks, sir, to your liking. We're gonna try some of this sun style uh, catfish. Even though it's nine o'clock already, uh, they give us uh, 20 minutes uh, time to uh, grab whatever you want before they put everything up. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am, can I, can I get one, please? She's gonna blanch the noodle. Yeah, that's good, that's good, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you, ma'am. All right, we're gonna add some of these uh, onions in there and then some jalapenos. And then on top of that, we're gonna add some of these green onions. Just gonna add some of this sriracha on top. Hi, and what's your name, Chef? Bread. Bread? Okay, hi. Oh yeah, I can see it, I can see it. Yeah. All right, so over here, this is my first plate. And look at this, guys. Fa your way. All right, we're about to try some of this shrimp real quick. Mm. Wow. Florida and Mississippi, good shrimp. Mm. Look at this chicken gizzard. It's rare that you see a buffet that has a um, chicken gizzard. Chicken gizzard is good. Look at this guy. Yeah. Look at this fried catfish. Mm. How's your cookie? Is it good? Yeah. I gotta try me some of this uh, seafood gumbo. The seafood. And then we're gonna try some of this uh, crawfish estouffee. Try some of this mussel. Thank you. So we might as well grab some uh, key lime tart. Some of this peach cobbler, and then some of this uh, bread pudding, and then one of this brownie, and some warm chocolate sauce. But they told you to grab stuff, so I grabbed everything that I could. And here's my food right here. Man, they don't play. <laughs> when they say they gonna... <laughs> but you know what's good though? They give you like 20 minutes. See? They close at nine, they give you 20 minutes. So we didn't plan to go eat this buffet today, but I was like, you know what? I don't know the next time I'm gonna come back to Mississippi. So, hey, I think I made a good decision, right? You guys like this? We can uh, relax and enjoy the, this buffet. Enjoy it. This steak. So this buffet was uh, voted uh, in 2019 for the best buffet in Biloxi, so. Besides um, sriracha, Tabasco is like one of my favorite hot sauces. And I basically eat everything with it too. And in a few days, we're gonna go to the uh, 
Tabasco factory. Try some of this steak with Tabasco. It's not um, very juicy, but good. I think I, I told the chef to leave, uh, leave it on the grill a little bit too long, so. But chicken gizzard, Tabasco. Mm. I'm getting better than that. I don't know if I tried this uh, chicken liver yet. Chicken liver or Tabasco. Mm. Wow. I don't know if you guys remember this, but back in the day, um, KFC has a, a buffet and they had their chicken liver. Oh, this reminds me of it. So good. I'm gonna try some of this bun next. I think they use um, a different noodle already. It's just a bun brisket. You can see some uh, lime in there. It has some bean sprout. I'm a little bit biased when it comes to pho, but man, it's good. It's not um, it's not your you know your typical pho. It's a little bit salty, but we're oh, good. We're on the road for eight hours a day, so I'll take this any day. All right, I'm gonna try some of this muscle right here. Mm. Muscle is a little bit salty. But I don't know because because of the sauce or not, but okay. It was just that one. One good. It's cooking in a tomato based sauce. And you got some shrimp right there. I just say I have to try this uh, smoked chicken with barbecue sauce. Wow. If I was here a little bit earlier, I would definitely enjoy this chicken. That barbecue sauce. Mm. And let's try this rib real quick with the sauce. Mm. See how easy the rib come out? Very tender. Mm, good piece of rib. And I don't want to waste food, so I'm gonna eat all this muscle. That smoked chicken was very uh, juicy. Not dry at all. That's a good smoked chicken. Mm. Mm. Thank you, ma'am. Mm, chase it down with some fall. You want some fruit? You want some fruit? You can't come to the south without trying any dirty rice and fried chicken. The chicken is still crunchy. I don't know if you guys eat the skin. Look at that. Tabasco sauce. Mmm. That's feeling crispy. Is that like a live band? I hope it's a live band, otherwise it's gonna get copyrighted. I'm gonna taste some chicken down with some um, dirty rice. Mmm. It's like the dirty rice from um, Popeyes, except it's moist. It's not dry. I'm gonna taste it down with some uh, green bean. You want some more grape? Yeah. What about you? Chicken, look good. Mommy and Popeyes. Crispy, delicious. But this powder, oh. I 
thing is, like the cheapest buffet, I pay for. This buffet was only ninety-one dollars. What tip? Over here, we got the sausage gumbo. Mm. You would think it'd be salty, but it's not. It's actually pretty good. You try it? You like it? Yeah. All we're missing now is some uh, crab and then some uh, oysters. Oh wow. But that roux is really good. And uh, this is a uh, crawfish estouffee. I don't think I got any crawfish though. Mm. I'm very surprised because you would think these two dishes could be salty, but they're not. They're well flavored. The crawfish estouffee even have a little kick, spicy kick. Really good. No matter one time we pay um, seven dollars for a small bowl like this at Santa Wonderland. It wasn't anything compared to this. So are you YouTubing or what? Yeah, I'm YouTubing. Ah, that's <laughs> yeah. You put me in there, you'll make a lot of money. All right. <laughs> so for this one, I'm gonna go real quick. Key lime pie. Mmm. Wow. Creamy, tart, delicious. This is um, bread pudding. Bread pudding tastes like the one from. Um, Cake Make Cafe. Really good. Mm. Chocolate brownie. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Chocolate brownie is a little bit sweet, but wow, that's so good. Last but not least, peach cobbler. Peach cobbler is not that sweet, but really good. Mmm. Yep. And then we're gonna chase it down with some fruit. Mmm. Yeah, one time. Even though this was a little rush video, um, I truly enjoyed this. Uh, so if you happen to be in uh, Biloxi, definitely come by this place and check it out. It's only $25.99 per person. That's crazy. So anyway, so hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for staying to the end. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on your way out, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>